ladies and gentlemen, the one and only I'm right about now. We're here on the red carpet for a dinner put together by Armour for its sponsors. We're going to be talking with top notch celebrities, directors, producers, in front and behind the cameras. Of course, the sponsors, people who have made Armour Awards a huge success. Armour has been on for years, and of course, it's become a huge force to reckon with. If you're in Hollywood and you've never won an Armour, it feels like, oh my goodness, you've not even started your journey into the movie industry. But however, we're going to be talking with top notchers in the industry, the organizers have put this together, the sponsors, of course, a whole lot of interesting people who were what's on the red carpet definitely you would find out my name is Wafai Samuel I'm looking all glammed up feeling like a princess in my beautiful lovely maroon dress okay this is Wafai Samuel let the show begin keep it locked on your one and trusted name Nigeezy that's the real deal <laughs> come a long way. Amma is a trailblazer when it comes to awards in Nollywood. And 2014, we are expecting it to be different. Is this still going to be taking place in Bayelsa this year? Oh yes, it is. It is definitely. It's the 10th year anniversary. So we think we should be rejoicing together. It's a baby that we think we gave birth to together. What is most fantastic? What is most outstanding? What is the strongest point for Amma? Amma is not trying to be anything else but Amma. We're not trying to be the Oscars. We're not trying to be the BAFTAs. We're not trying to be anything. Ama is Ama, and Ama is something that is totally grown for Africa by Africans to respect our own creativity from where it's coming from within us. It's for me the most important thing is for Africans to recognize and accept themselves for what they are and what they are doing to achieve what they have. Nollywood dissolves the myth in totality that it takes a thousand and millions of dollars to make a film. And this is a major achievement for Africa as a whole. It took us away from the slavery of the Western countries being in control of what people saw about Africa. Do you play host to other initiatives that are related to AMA? Maybe not basically for Nollywood, from other sectors of the creative industry, not just film, not just movies, not just um, Academy Awards. Do you also play host to other events, other top-notch events in the country? Yeah, you, you find out that the administration is open to every other tourism. Be it creative interpret, be it sick, be it everything. The governor said he has opened his eyes for everybody to come. Not only am I award, everybody should come to Bayelsa State. What do you think of Nollywood? Nollywood is becoming more globally acclaimed, more recognized, more, more professional in the kind of movies it churns out. What do you think of the creative industry, Nollywood in particular? Uh, the creative industry is doing well. Nollywood particularly is doing very well. Uh, considering its um, acceptance globally now, uh, it is, uh, with its global acceptance, uh, that should uh, portend a huge opportunity for it, all right? But the challenge I have with it, however, is still content. Uh, I'm sure there's still a lot of room for improvement vis-a-vis uh, -vis content and collaborations. Any event that will celebrate our commonalities, any event that would celebrate content, any event that will celebrate our people is one that is welcome. Now you're here for AMA Awards. AMA Awards has put together a sponsors night to appreciate everyone who has supported it, everyone who has sponsored the initiative. But for you, you're coming from the creative industry, from the corporate industry rather. What do you think of the creative industry? I mean, they're becoming more serious, they're becoming more focused, they're becoming more professional. What do you think of them? I think that um, the industry is impacting very greatly on the Nigerian, um, the whole Nigerian thing, you know, because um, everybody is taking us seriously now. And um, I remember traveling with some Nollywood stars to Kenya and I became a star overnight just by that association. So I think it's an industry that has impacted greatly and I'm sure that the economy is benefiting with it. So these are things that are very, very useful for the nation. 
Ma, this is 2014 and we're looking forward to having the corporate industry sponsor the creative industry a lot more. We're looking forward to having them partner. Lots of um, top-notch events in Lagos and in Nigeria have the corporate industry. So are we looking forward to having more and more um, partnership, more cooperation, more sponsorship from your end? That will happen. As you know, um, yes, uh, because for the banking industry, banks deal with things that they can um, you know, put some... Um, value on and not value in terms of what comes to them but you must see a project from beginning to end you don't just uh, sponsor things that are in people's head so as the industry becomes more organized you know people get their acts together and then the banks can see what they're dealing with then I think that those sp sponsorships will flow what do you think about different kinds of awards churning out by the day promoting professionalism in all well, it's a worthy way of uh, recognizing uh, and it's a worthy incentive package for a very productive industry. I mean, Nigerians, uh, they do very, whatever they do, they do very well. And the movie industry in Nigeria has come a long way and it's still got a much longer way to go. So I think all of this will help to grow the industry and they become more professional. So it's just as well to give a little back to those who are making it work, yeah? running and Ama has consistently been held in Bayelsa State. Yes. Yesterday I got a lot of questions on my website on Facebook and it was like, when is Ama actually going to breath in Lagos? When are they going to have Ama in Lagos? Bayelsa all the time. What would you say about me? Well, I'm partial to Bayelsa State because I am from Bayelsa State. Yes, and uh, I think it's a wonderful thing for Ama to be in Bayelsa State because the the um, brand Ama and Bielsa are very complimentary. Now, do you think Bielsa has actually, Bielsa is doing great when it comes to supporting tourism. Tourism, of course, is actually a money spinner. It's an, it's an industry that is going in leaps and bounds. It's an industry that the world has come to reckon with. And, of course, I've heard a couple of persons say Bielsa is like the home of tourism. Is that right? I really don't know much about Bielsa. I've never been there. But is Bielsa truly a home for tourism? It is in many ways. Bielsa has many natural attributes that, you know, uh, make it a natural attraction for tourism. I mean, take one for instance, there are lots of rivers and creeks. Now, if you think of the variety of water-related things from sports to beaches, uh, Bayasa has some of the largest, longest, unspoiled beaches in the Akasa area. Thank you. 
state of my answer to act their feelings. That's all. Secondly, we're building the music school. The music school is ongoing. The next couple of months it will be finished. When I saw the young man from Bayelsa singing in a way and in a manner that only only a Bayelsa youth can sing, <laughs> I, I was very excited. And I want to thank peace. I want to thank all of you who have in one way or the other supported young and upcoming artists, not just from Bayelsa. Because I'm more excited when I see the ones from Bayelsa. But for supporting them all across our great country. Because the talents are all there. But we must lay out and formulate the right policies. And we must seek the right partnerships and collaborations that can make that possible and sustainable. AMA is only going to be sustainable if the private sector buys into it, drives the process, and guarantees its continuity. My government will not be in the business of directly taking responsibility for funding AMA. That is not sustainable, particularly at the times that we now live in. And as I was talking, and just at the right moment, uh, our good friend and brother, uh, the chairman of uh, Skybank, moved in. And that's the right spirit. I want to invite you all to donate generously. Let us support Amma for us and what it does. Thank you very much. And God bless you all. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Right about now, we have someone who's actually front-lined the donations, away from the donations that say the Amma sponsors night for 2014. Tunde Ayeni, nice to have you here. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Okay, now if you're looking at the creative industry, it's growing in leaps and bounds. Gone are the days where, okay, let's say in time past, the corporate sectors, the, 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 the gubernatorial sectors weren't really concerned about the creative industries. But in recent times, we were having the corporate sectors and so many other facets of the economy, I'd say, keen into the creative industries. For you, comments on this, positive, negative comments, but I'm sure positive comments on that. Well, I think uh, the, the contribution of the creative in sector, uh, what they are doing to the economy, cannot be overlooked any longer. Uh, it's an value addition, it's a source of foreign exchange into the country, it's, it has created a lot of employment, so it's an inspiration to the extent that it's been recognized as one of the biggest industry after the Hollywood and the Nollywood, you start mentioning uh, the Nollywood of Nigeria. So I think uh, they, they need to be encouraged and that is why we are here to support and to let them know that uh, as they continue to perfect what they do and how to do it best. They will continue to receive the support of the corporate world. You're from Bielsa State. Bielsa State has always supported the creative industry. Bielsa State has played host to AMA in the past years. Now the creative industry is growing. You're not in Nollywood, but what would you say about Nollywood? I think they've come a mighty long way from the days of um, um, living in bondage and this, this new set of movies have been different. I just watched the meeting and I was wild and all that. So I've said they've come a mighty long way. I think there's a long way to go, but also they've come a mighty long way. Yeah. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. It's a pleasure to facilitate with the people of Bielsa, the friends of Bielsa, and those from the creative industry of Nigeria. The very budding creative industry we have. I used to fancy myself to be an actor and a singer until I was told to go into banking and that was the end of my short career. But um, I think tonight is really about celebrating a lot of wonderful things about Nigeria. Tonight is about unity of our country. Many of you may not know, the governor himself and I are fellow kinsmen. His grandmother is from Ijebuland. I, be I believe you didn't know that. Um, and I am also from Ijebuland. Tonight, as I said, is really about celebrating it's about supporting the arts and it's about supporting our beloved state by us. It's been a fantastic time out and that's the Governor's Excellency taking his exit. 
beautiful. What more can I say? Of course, we've seen individuals from the corporate sector keen into Nollywood, basically. It's been great. What more would we ever ask for? His Excellency, the Governor of Bios State, was right here. A few other top-notch individuals in Nigeria were in attendance. I mean, the cream, the elites of the society were here. Early stars of the society. The creative industry of Nigeria is growing in leaps and bounds, and Nigeria is so proud and happy to be part of it. I've been so, so excited about this entire event, and I'm glad that we were able to network with one another. I wish the event never came to an end, but it's okay. The event has ended. My name is Wafai Shnamuel again. Thanks for choosing Nigeria. Thanks for staying. I'll see you some other time. Till then, be good to yourselves and stay blessed. Bye. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only.